What's the difference between Bitstream and PCM? You might see this option when messing with your speakers or consoles. In this video, former DTS sound engineer Brian Slack helps explain the difference between the two and how they affect things like DTSX and Dolby Atmos. In this video, I'm assuming you're using some type of Blu-ray player or streaming device to stream a movie to an audio and video receiver. Let's start with PCM. These three letters stand for Pulse Code Modulation. Without getting too into the weeds, PCM audio is the conventional method for converting analog audio into digital audio. Whereas Bitstream audio is 100% digital audio. Bitstream means the bite-sized pieces of digital audio. The ones and zeros of the audio file are streamed for playback, hence the name Bitstream. They all say it a little differently, but there will be a choice between Bitstream or say audio or something like that. So if you have, for instance, a, a, a Blu-ray player and you want to have the Blu-ray player transfer the DTSX audio from the Blu-ray to your AVR over HDMI, you pick on your Blu-ray player, you pick Bitstream, okay? Um, and it will try to do that. But what will end up happening is, if your AVR doesn't understand what um, uh, DTSX is, what you can do is you can pick an audio stream, in which case what's going to happen is your Blu-ray player is going to decode the DTSX as probably DTS 5.1 or 7.1 or something. It's going to just pack it as 7.1 PCM send that over the HDMI so that your AVR can play it back. And the same is going to happen probably on sound bars and other things. So whatever your player is, if your player, whatever it may be, probably a Blu-ray player or UHD player, if it understands DTS, it will probably do the decoding and then send the raw PCM over to your sound bar. So which device should you have to code audio from your movies, your player or your receiver? Well, if the Blu-ray player does it, you'll never get DTSX or Atmos for that matter, because you simply can't send more than eight channels of raw PCM. So you're just going to get seven one. So yeah, so there's, you can't do it with either one. Um, uh, the trick to both uh, Dolby Atmos and DTSX is they actually use the secondary audio stream. So for instance, in DTSX, the way it works is there's a raw seven one that gets transmitted to your AVR, and then a secondary audio stream that has all the objects and the overheads and all the other audio that goes along with it. And if your AVR sees both of those streams and says, oh, this is DTSX, so it takes both streams and decodes them into DTSX. Um, if your AVR doesn't understand what DTSX is, then it's just gonna take the first one and say, okay, I'm just gonna play the seven one. But it's done in such a way to where the entirety of the mix is in that seven one. It's not missing any of the objects. They're just not going to play as overheads or anything. It's just going to play the raw 7.1. The audio quality between the two methods is basically indistinguishable. However, Bitstream allows more metadata to be sent over separate channels to your speaker's system when playing anything above 7.1 surround sound, and is why you should use this option if available. This is Movie University, education and cinema.